Who ready for Hollywood? Hello there, I'm Stan the Movie Man, and this is your WIMZ.com movie review. This week, I actually had two weeks to vote at WIMZ.com, and it was a tie. It was a tie between Stan's Choice and Daybreakers. And because my choice was Daybreakers, that essentially doubled the vote, and I went to see Daybreakers. Uh, Daybreakers stars Ethan Hawke. It is about the near future where a virus has mutated people into vampires. And then as the vampire po population has grown, uh, the vampires begin changing people to vampires. And eventually, the majority of the world's population is bloodsuckers. Uh, now, the human population that's left, which is very small, is uh, treated sort of like cattle, and they are farmed for blood, uh, which is sold to the vampires. A uh, company run by uh, Charles Bromley, who's played by Sam Neill, uh, runs these blood farms. But there's a problem. The human population is dying off faster than they can replace them. And there is a critical blood shortage. Uh, that blood shortage is causing some of the vampires to mutate into what they call subsuckers. And they kind of have wings and they have, you know, they're, they're animals, essentially. And uh, they're considered yet another plague on the earth. Ethan Hawke uh, works for uh, the company that farms the blood. He's a hematologist. He's trying to develop a blood substitute. But he um, runs into some humans who are not bloodsuckers, who... Um, are trying to cure the human race of vampirism and they have someone who is cured, a uh, guy who goes by the name of Elvis, thank you, thank you very much, uh, who's played by <clears throat> Willem Dafoe and uh, he has a way to cure vampirism. The question is, do the vampires want to be cured? This movie's pretty good. I was a little surprised. Usually movies that come out in January blow, but this one was really quite good. Um, I enjoyed how, even though the, the, virus, the, the plague of vampires starts with a virus, it then becomes us versus them, uh, and the vampires turn more humans into vampires. There's, uh, there's, there's a lot to like about this movie. Uh, one of the things that I mostly liked about it is the vampires aren't all pasty pretty boys uh, who sparkle in the daylight. What they do in the daylight is burst into flame, like a good vampire should. So I am all for Daybreakers. I think you should give it a shot. The ending does tend to run on a little bit, and it, you know, it essentially devolves into sort of an action-adventure picture with a really sort of goofy ending. There's a well, I won't tell you what, how it ends, but uh, the let's just say there's sort of a cliched hero uh, at the end of the picture. So I'll leave it at that. Otherwise, I really enjoyed Daybreakers, and I'm going to give it four guitars. Go to WIMZ.com to read my complete review, as well as to vote on the movie that I'll see next time. Till next time, Stan the Movie Man. See y'all!